What's up guys, Justin here, SNS Archery. Hey, today's gear item that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Fast Eddie XL Double Pin by SpotHog. This is one of SpotHog's most popular sites throughout their entire lineup. We sell a ton of them at SNS, and so we wanted to do a video and kind of break down this site. SpotHog is kind of the industry leader in this really overbuilt, heavy duty site. Um, they've been building great sites for a long time, 100% made in the USA with lifetime warranty, all machined aluminum, 6061, um, from the knobs to the, the dovetail to the scope housing, everything is just built very strong and durable. Um, they are a little bit heavier, so this light comes in at 14.6 ounces, but if you're somebody that that weight, those few ounces isn't a big deal and you can still you know, have a site that's gonna hold up for a long time, Spot Hog's a great, great choice. Um, this is the XL version, meaning you have a six inch dovetail. Spot Hog does offer the Fast Eddy, the exact same site, but without the dovetail, you just have a standard shorter base mount. The benefit of having the dovetail is you have more customization for the scope housing relative to your peep and getting that perfect focal length of, of the rings on your target. So your anchor point, everything is, is a lot more adjustable. Um, if you're somebody that is really hard on your gear and you do a lot of backpack hunting, you can actually take off your bow sight and throw it in your pack, hike up the hill, get to where you're gonna you know, start your hunt and tighten it up and your pins are gonna be right in the exact same spot. This is the 19 thousandths pin version. Um, they do come in the 10 thousandths as well. Um, the benefit of the 10 thousandths is it's gonna be more precise. However, if it's low, low light, like first 10, 15 minutes of your hunt, it's gonna be hard to see those pins. So just know that if you're somebody that is always starting early in the morning, you might wanna look towards the 19 thousandths. So as you can see on the top, I've got a pin and down low on that same vertical post, I have a pin as well. And those two pins are going to correspond with your double pin pointer here on the side. So you have the top pin and the second pin pointer. Now this is a fully adjustable yardage sight. So basically what that means is you're gonna get a bunch of sight tapes when you buy the sight. And we'll have a whole video explaining how to do this correctly and how to pick the right one for your setup depending on your arrow speed. But once you get that set on your yardage knob, you're gonna have your yardages all set and then whatever your pointer's pointing at, whether at the top or the bottom is gonna to correspond to your pins. With this site, they have their HRD technology, so there's no bushings, there's no slop, and it's very quiet. So to roll your yardage wheel up and down, you just simply un unloosen your elevation knob down below and then you can move the yardage knob up and down. So very quiet, doesn't make any noise, which is really nice. And a, and a nice oversized knob for some easy adjustment going up and down to, to get your, your, the right yardage. Um, you also get this rack stop, which is this little squared piece of aluminum here. Um, what's nice about this is if you've ever been hunting and you look down and you lose your sight tape, say it peels off, your hunt's over, right? will know because you installed that rack stop before you went out. So you at least can dial back down, lock in, and you have a 20 yard pin and say a 30 yard pin. So that is a nice feature to have as a backup so you're not completely out. Um, one thing to note is that there is no adjustment for pin gap on this particular site. So it's a set distance. So it may, that gap from the top pin to the bottom pin might be 15 yards for some people, or it might be 12 or 11. So it just depends on your bow speed. When you want to change your windage, your left and right, you have this big oversized knob up front. And as you can see, toolless, there's no, you don't have to get out of Allen, you can make these adjustments right in the field. Um, you have a little knob here for this adjustment to move left and right. This site has second and third axis adjustment. So to make those adjustments, you have a set screw here on the front, set screw on the back side. you loosen those and top Allen, bottom Allen, and then you're able to tilt your scope housing this direction. 
So basically with your bow level, you're gonna be able to bring that bubble and your scope housing level. To do third axis adjustment, it's up here in the front and it's basically mounted on this round wedge up front. So as you tighten this left Allen, the scope housing is gonna pull in. And this is third axis is very beneficial for uphill, downhill shots. So if you don't have that as you, as you go to shoot, you can actually drift the further the distance is left and right. So it's a very important part to make sure your bow's set up correctly. So once you get that desired camber in your scope and everything's level at your 45 degree, you can go ahead and tighten them up both evenly and make sure it hasn't moved and just recheck it. Um, with spot hog, you are gonna get two sets of rings. You have their single, single ring and their triple ring. So where the triple is very beneficial, I think a lot of bow sites should, should carry some kind of um, ring system like this. Um, but basically in a really bright condition, your, your peep's gonna be super clear. You're gonna be able to see real well. Um, but as it gets darker, you're basically, you're gonna get a lot more fuzz. You're gonna see a lot more around your scope housing. So when you initially set up to be able to, to use the interior ring when it's really bright out, and then to be able to have the bigger ring for when it's darker out is really nice to just help you center your, your peep and your scope housing the exact same every, every time you're gonna shoot. So it just is gonna help with your accuracy overall. Um, Spot Hog does offer a sight light if you're interested. They're not legal here in Idaho, but they just screw right into the housing up front. We sell these as well on our store. And just turn it on left and right and you're good um, if you guys have any questions about the fast steady xl double pin by spot hog feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email we'd be glad to give you guys a hand um, really appreciate taking the time to watch thank you <music>